Okay, uh, this video is for your DC circuit. Okay, uh, I think I've done the previous questions before this for the MCQ. I'm left with just a few more on MCQ. Right, so this is question 11. Okay, so if you look at this question, right, it shows a circuit with four voltmeter readings, V, V1, V2, and V3. Now, V is the uh, voltmeter that's measuring the EMF of the battery. All right. So the EMF in the circuit, uh, it must be the maximum. That means all the other voltmeter reading, they cannot be higher than the potential difference or the volt that is read by the voltmeter on the battery. Okay, so uh, please ignore this line. By right, this line shouldn't be here. Okay, and you notice that R and 2R, they are actually connected in parallel. So in parallel, the potential difference is the same. So V2 must be equal to V3, right? Then, if I continue with the current moving downwards, right, we'll see that V, uh, R and 2R, they're in parallel. After they pass through the uh, R and 2R, it, re it will reach the last resistor. Okay, so V1. So in this case, the R and 2R, these parallel resistors, they are actually in series with this single resistor. Okay, so if over here is either V2 equals to V3, and this is V1, right? Therefore, V must be equal to V1 plus V2, or V must be equal to V1 plus V3. Why so? Because V2 is equal to V3. Why? Because they are con uh, measuring the potential difference across two resistors that are in parallel. And once they are in parallel, I treat them as one object. It is then in series with this resistor. Okay, in series with this resistor. So V2 plus V1 must be equal to the EMF of the battery. So I will have the answer as D. Alright. Okay, next question. Uh, all the resistors are identical and the reading on emitter A1 is 0 0.6. So this reading is 0 0.6 ampere. So again, let's see how the current flows out. The current flows out directly from the positive terminal of the uh, cell. And once it reaches this part, it actually has to split into... Uh, let me call this I1. The current flows. There's another split here. I will call this I3 because it's M meter 3. And then there is another split here, which I'll call it I4. Okay. So I can actually redraw this circuit very quickly. Uh, A1. I have two of this resistor. Then I have A3, one of this resistor. And finally, A4, where I have three of these resistors. So if you are able to draw this out, right, it's going to be very simple. The current that comes out is going to be called I2, right, because of the emitter A2. And I know A1 is 0 0.6 ampere. Okay, so... Um, imagine this. Now the uh, the resistors they are actually connected in parallel. They are connected in parallel. So in this first path of A one, I have two resistors. Compared to this path of A three, I have I have two resistors here. Over here, I have one resistor. So which path will have actually more current? Of course, the one with only one resistor, isn't it? So can I call this, can I say I3 is more than I1? And if I1 is 0 0.6, then I will say I3 is 1.2. Why? Let's just put in some numbers. If I have 1 ohm and 1 ohm, so in this branch, maybe I color it, in this branch, 
the green color branch i will have 2 ohm effective resistance 2 ohm my r is 2 ohm my current is 0 0.6 ampere therefore the v is 1.2 volts and since they are all connected in parallel right i'm also going to have 1.2 volts here and because i only have one resistor the current is 1.2 right because the resistors they are equal in value all right so if you understood this then can you tell me what is the current that flows through okay in this last one it will actually be 0 0.4 ampere because there are three resistors there making up a total of three ohms therefore it will have the same voltage of 1.2 because they are all connected in parallel the blue branch the purple branch and the green branches they are all connected in parallel so they will have the same voltage all right so they add up 0.4 plus 1.2 plus uh 0 0.6 0.4 plus 1.2 ampere plus 0 0.6 they will give me a total of 2.2 ampere coming out from the battery so answer is D okay uh, question 13 I think is not in Okay, question 14 may not be in, but maybe you can take a look. Again, ignore this. So they are asking for the current I, this current. Okay, so uh, this current is passing through the 4 ohm of the uh, two 4 ohm resistors in parallel. Okay, it is passing through the lower branch. So maybe I'll redraw this circuit. So this is 2 ohm and I have another 2 ohm here and this will actually be 2 ohm. You get this because they are in parallel so I use the parallel resistors formula. Okay, But as I do that my current is lost. My current is lost. Okay, But it doesn't matter because I can find it back later. So let's work the circuit. I will have actually these two branch in parallel okay therefore they are going to have the same voltage of two volts two volts yeah so I can now say that the current that flows through the lower branch is V equals to IR the V is two volts equals to I the total effective resistance here is four so I will have I as 0 0.5 ampere that means my current over here is going to be 0 0.5 ampere so I'm going to put this current back here 0 0.5 ampere after passing through the 2 ohm is still 0 0.5 ampere and because now these two resistors they are in parallel and they are of equal value they are going to split up so answer is A okay Okay, I'm going to move on to the structured questions. Uh, let's read the questions together. There are 40 lamps each of resistance each of resistance 8 ohm. They are connected to a 240 volt supply to decorate a tree. So I have something like that. I have uh, 8 ohm. I have so many of them. Total, I have 40 of them. The first and last I'm showing. So I have 8 ohm. They are connected in series. This is important and this is 240 volts. Calculate the total resistance. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch to the answer so you can see the answer as well. Okay, I'll upload the answers online. Yeah. Okay, so they want us to calculate the total resistance so because they're connected in series so I will have 40 multiplied by 8 ohms each I'll get 320 ohm okay you don't have to add 8 plus 8 plus 8 300 
uh, for 40 times, okay? So just use your multiplication. And then they want us, want us to calculate the potential difference across each lamp. So in a series connection, the potential difference is the sum. So because I have 40 of this lamp, so the potential difference across each of them will be shared among all 40, right? So each one will be 6 volts. So again, if you add 6 40 times, you'll get until 240 volts, okay? Now calculate the current in each lamp. So I will have to actually use this and I have 320 ohm. Remember I have to add up all the voltage, uh, the resistance. Okay, so with this, I will get 0 0.75 ampere. Okay, or I can use individual like what the first method is. I use individual potential difference for each lamp divided by its own resistance. So that's why I have 6 divided by 8. Okay, calculate the amount of uh, charge that passes through each lamp in one minute. This is actually in the previous chapter, but they are mashing up everything here. So one minute, remember, you need to change it to SI unit of uh, 60 seconds. Okay, then this is my Q. This is my T. They want us to calculate the amount of charge. So there's a link here. I have the current here multiplied by the time in seconds. I will get 45 coulombs. Okay, then they want us to calculate the work done to drive the charge calculated in D. So I need to make sure that it's using D through each lamp. So we have this formula. Uh, work done equals to QV or V equals to W over Q. Okay, so they want us to find W. We have the Q from just now. So W is unknown. We have the V for each lamp because they want each lamp. So we shouldn't be using 240 volts. Okay, so this is a simple calculation question. Um, the next question, a uh, resistor X with an unknown resistance is connected in parallel with a 24 ohm resistor. So what is important is that it's parallel and it's with a 24 ohm resistor. Total resistance is 8 ohm. Calculate the resistance. So instead of giving you two resistors with known resistance and finding the effective, so uh, in this case, they are asking you to find the individual and the REFF is actually 8 ohms. So you have to work backwards. Now recall the formula for parallel resistance, 1 over REFF equals 1 over RX plus 1 over 24, right? So you just do your uh, manipulation and 1 over REFF is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 equals to 1 over Rx plus 1 over 24. Just do your math and you should get a value of 12 ohm. Okay, 12 ohm. So in exam, you have time. You want to check, you can always substitute 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24 and you flip it. Inverse it, you should get 8 ohms. Okay, now draw the parallel arrangement. Uh, in A, that means something like what I have done already. Um, but they have this 6 volt battery and it should include an emitter to measure the current in the 24 ohm. Okay, if you don't read, you may put it in the 12 ohm. Okay, but they can sometimes ask you to do that. Okay, so always read the question. So it looks something like that. Now calculate the current in each resistor as shown in B. Show your working. Now this is simple. The the resistors they are actually connected in parallel so their uh, voltage across is the same so I will have 6 volts over here across both of them so I just do 6 over 24 and 6 over 12 okay but uh, when I was marking some of your answers some of you didn't present your answers properly yeah okay then the next one it shows the circuit that operates the two headlights and two side lights of a car uh, I don't know which one is headlight and which one is side light, but if it's headlight, then it should be the same resistance, right? So one of them, one set of them is the headlight, the other one set is the side light. Two of the lamps each have a resistance of 4 ohm when lit. Okay, so there we have the 4 ohm, 4 ohm. The other two lamps each have a resistance of 12 when lit, so we have the 12 and 12 here. Switch A can be connected to positions 1, 2, or 3. 
state which lamps lit up if any when switch a is connected to position one so you actually need to role play the current okay so when it's connected to one so remember to redraw the current will come through here yes it can pass through this and it can pass through this but there is no way and then it goes back to battery yeah? but there's no way to go to the 4 ohm and 4 ohm so when this uh, switch is connected to position 1 it should light up the 12 ohm and 12 ohm okay so switch A is connected to 1 okay I think the answers is a bit wrong they say none of the lamps lit up okay but I don't agree because when it is connected to position 1 current flows right yeah so it should be 12 and 12 so sorry to those students who I mark you as wrong because I was just following the answers okay so it should be 12 ohm both 12 ohm okay so now position 2 so I need to maybe let me just clean this up okay so now it's connected to position 2 I'll use a different color position 2 okay so again it will light up both 12 ohm isn't it right so again yeah okay then how about position 3 position 3 so why is it that the answer suggested that it didn't light up for position 3 it touches this so it will go through go through so both 4 ohm so these two are correct but how about a when it's connected to position 1 yeah i think the answer is incorrect so both will be 12 ohm okay now state the potential difference across each lamp when lit so when it's lit okay we take for example the last case when it's connected to position 3 okay so i have a 4 ohm i have another 4 ohm here Okay, so as you can see, it is actually connected in parallel, so it will be 12 volts each. Okay, the potential difference across each 4 ohm will be 12 volts, similar to position 1 and 2, 12 volts. Okay, now calculate the current in each 4 ohm and 12 ohm when lit. So, we are just using 12 volts for each lamp, because we will then be connected in parallel, so we will just be... 3 ampere and 1 ampere okay I don't think this question is very good there may be some errors okay so for question 4 uh, I have some error in my drawing here okay and I copied the diagram from your worksheet so they say they ask us to calculate the combined resistance of A and B A, B and C c and a b c and d okay so firstly i will need to ignore this okay by right there shouldn't be this line here okay so this is 12 volts so a and b uh, are they of equal resistance each resistance resistor has a resistance of 6 ohm so for a and b because they are connected in um series so a part one answer will just be 6 plus 6 equals to 12 ohm okay for a b and c uh, now that i have combined a and b i can actually combine them into a 12 ohm resistor and this is my c of 6 ohm okay so uh, then it's very clear that this 12 ohm and 6 ohm they are in parallel so therefore i can do my 1 over iff equals to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 remember to flip in the end your 1 over i ff will be equal to 4 ohm okay okay then they want us to do a part 3 
So this is A part 2. A part 3, you actually find the effective resistance of everything. So they are actually helping you. Now that I know that uh, AB and C will become 4 ohm, this part actually becomes 4 ohm and D is 6 ohm and they are now in series. So it will be just 4 plus 6. I think most of you did well when you submitted your work to me. Now calculate the current in the battery. So I redraw everything with this as 10 ohm. Okay, then this is my 12 volts. So the current will be 1.2 ampere. Please use your math properly, uh, V equals I R. Okay, then they want us to calculate the total amount of charges that flow through in the in 50 seconds. So 50 seconds already in SI unit. Right? Then calculate the work done. So for your WA, we will not test you on this because it was already tested in the previous WA. Okay, you can just check your answers. Okay, uh, question 5. Okay, so again, ignore this. It shouldn't be there. So I see I have a 3 ohm and a 2 ohm. And hopefully by now you'll know that the 3 ohm and 2 ohm, they are connected in parallel. And then this whole part is then in series with my R. So state the relationship between currents I1, I2, and I3. So the I1 is here coming up from the battery. Once it reaches this place X, it will split up into I2 and I3. So I will say I1 equals to I2 plus I3. This is the relationship. It, it can be expressed in a mathematical equation. Now, currents I1 and I4, I1 is actually equals to I4 because after that, I2 and I3, they will combine here together. They will have to add up because in parallel, current is sum. So then my I1 should be equals to my I4. Okay, so it's getting a bit messy. Let me clean it up. Now they want us to proceed to the next question. They say that the ammeter reads 0 0.8 ampere. So this 0 0.8 ampere is for the top resistor. So for the top resistor, the current that flows through is actually 0 0.8. Therefore, the voltage across this resistor, I call it V, is equals to IR, is equals to 0 0.8 multiplied by 3 equals to 2.4 volts. And because this 2 ohm is also connected in parallel, so the voltage is the same, right? Because in parallel, voltage is the same. So I have 2.4 across the 3 ohm. I have 2.4 volts across the 2 ohm. So, which means I can actually find the current that flows through this 2 ohm. It will be... Uh, V equals to IR, my V is 2.4, my I is unknown, my R is 2, therefore my I is 1.2 Ampere. So I have 1.2 Ampere. Therefore, I1 will be I2 plus I3, so it will be 2 Ampere, so here will be 2 Ampere as well. Okay, but of course the most difficult is calculate the resistance of R, which actually is not very difficult. Look, the EMF is 6 volt. So over here is really 2.4 volts. That means over here will be 6 minus 2.4. Because uh nope. Because in series the potential difference is sum. So this is 3.6 volt. That means my uh current is 2 ampere. My R will then be V over I equals to 3.6 divided by 2 equals to 1.8 ohm. Okay, you must be very clear what you are doing. Are you doing voltage? Are you doing current? Or are you doing resistance? Uh, I think most of you still face a problem of uh, confusing between voltage and current. Okay. Uh, so you can actually look at the method one is quite different from mine, but it's okay. But in the end, we'll both get the answer of 1.8 ohm. Okay, please let me know if you have any questions. I'll go on for the next, uh, I'll continue with the next video because the length may be too long.